I think that every survivalist should have an edge. And wild man's tip, this is not for the professional trapper or the man that traps all the time. This is for the survivalist. It would pay for the young survivalist. Make sure you check the laws in your state. You will have to have your name and address and a trapping license to trap. But in a survival situation, survival meaning to keep yourself alive is another situation. It would pay the young survivalist to have a number one coil spring. It beds flat. You can blind set it. You can also do it with a little number one long spring. These ain't very heavy. And you put it in your arsenal of survival equipment. I had a guy that tried to give me two dozen, two or three dozen traps once because he said they wouldn't bed level. I said, what are you talking about? He was young and new at it. But after I showed him, he kept his traps. I didn't want them because he needed help. You always take the spring and pull back to the, door, the, the dog. Always pull back to your dog and your long spring trap will bed flat. See there how that beds? I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Anyways, they will hold an animal by the foot. See there? He's not going to get out unless he's big. So you might have to put it out into deep water, tie it off, and put a big stick out there where he'll wrap around it. Thus, he will be dispatched. On your cool spring, you can do the same thing. See there? This will hold the animal by the foot. All right? Thus, you will have food. This could mean between having a meal or not. Or you could have one of these lightweight wire traps also, which is a 110 conibear trap. Also happen to have your name and address on it and a trapping license. But in a survival situation, you must eat. This is a run trap. It means you have to put it in a run, like a muskrat run underneath the water. You sink the trap underneath the water. That's like this. Or you can put it along the edge of the bank like I trap for minks, or you can put it in a feed bed, at the edge of the feed bed, up against the bank, but the animal goes through the trap. The trap busts out and dispatches the animal. This is a dispatch trap. You could take a dispatch trap, but my suggestion would be number one, one of these number ones, and that's your survival tip. In a survival situation, this could be the difference between going hungry, having that meal, It'd be, uh, that's your survival tip. Wild man out, slamming and jamming, baby. I hope this uh, lesson for the long survivalist, remember it in case you ever need it. Wild man out.